This is the piece of furniture we'll be working on today. My first thought when I saw this piece of furniture was, ew, but I think it has so much potential. It just needs a little updating, some new hardware, accentuate the lines, and it's gonna be gorgeous. I'm using Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner to clean the entire piece, including the inside of the drawers and the drawer inserts just everywhere. When I finish cleaning the entire piece, I rinse the entire piece with water. I just take some warm water in a rag and I rinse it down so I don't leave any cleaner residue. I'm using my mouse sander to sand all the little details on the drawer fronts. The top two drawers have these bars. I'm gonna keep them. Now for all the flat parts, I'm just gonna use my orbital sander and sand the rest. I'm using an 80 grit right now. Then I'll move to a 120 and then 150. Everything's sanded and nice and smooth. So now I'm taking Dixie Belle's No Pain Gel Stain in the color Walnut and I'm using this little sponge to apply it. I really love this gel stain. It's really easy to use and it covers any imperfections in the wood. Usually when you're using stain, you would apply it with a brush and then move it around or a sponge or something and then wipe it up with your rag. But with this, I'm actually using my applicator pad more as a tool. I'm applying the stain and then I'm making sure I have a nice like streak free finish with it. So I'm evening it out, I'm sort of blending it all in. And then I moved on and I finished all the drawer fronts. Then I left these outside to dry for about four hours. Then I went in with another coat, which isn't necessary, but I did want it to look really rich. Before applying any sealer, you wanna leave it dry for one to three days, depending on your humidity. If it's humid out, wait the three days. That's what Dixie Bell recommends. I am only waiting one day because it is just not humid where I live, so I know it's fully dry. But if you're unsure, it's best to leave it the three days. Now here, while I have it outside, I'm using my mouse sander with a 180 grit to scuff sand on my entire piece, including the sides, because we're gonna use Dixie Bell's Silk in Hampton Olive. And with this paint, you have to scuff sand your piece. So I scuff sanded the sides and the bottoms and I evened everything out. Then I'm using my Scarlet brush to apply the paint. I love this Scarlet brush. I have to say it's easily becoming one of my favorite brushes. I need some more of them because <laughs> I only have one. But I use it for my slick stick and I use it for all of my silks. There's something different about the bristles, they're very firm. So when you're putting on an all-in-one or something like slick stick, which is just a little bit on the thicker side, it applies so nicely. It, uh, you know, these are things that we want to self-level and your brush definitely matters. With chalk paint, you can just add water to move your paint and get rid of any brush strokes. But with the silk line, you can't. You don't want to add any water. You want to use a dry brush. So I find this brush um, the best for getting no brush strokes. And the key to no brush strokes with this all-in-one is to make sure you wait with your drying time. If you think that you should speed your drying time up and you apply a second coat before the two hours is up, you didn't give your piece enough time to self-level. And that's a huge mistake because you might think it's dry after 45 minutes or after an hour, but it's absolutely not done doing its job. It's not done self-leveling. So you just took the time out and then you know, you're wondering, why do I have brush strokes? because you didn't give it enough time. That's when the drying, we talk about the drying time, it's not so much about drying, it's about that self-leveling.
Now I've waited my two hours. It's actually been three and everything is really nice and self-leveled. It's very smooth. So I'm going to apply my second coat. I love how smooth the second coat goes on because the first coat is nice and smooth and the finish for the silk is like it's a semi satin. So it's it's so smooth when it goes on. It's just so unlike chalk paint. The one thing I can't stand about chalk paint is the matte finish. I love chalk paint, but I always seal it because I don't like that texture. Now for all the drawer fronts, I am using Verathane's water-based polyurethane in satin. And I'm covering them with two coats because I do want them to have a little bit of a sheen and I don't want it to be so flat and it just brings that walnut to life. It'll make it really rich. So I'm gonna add it and I'm just gonna smooth it out, make sure that I'm not missing any um, sections of the drawer fronts because the wood is porous. I wanna make sure that I'm really getting in every pore. Now for the hardware. I ordered these knobs and they're in the color brushed gold. Then I had these handles and they're a brass, a gold brass. They don't match. The brass is very yellow and the gold is really soft gold. So I have this spray paint. It's from Rust-Oleum. It's a Rust-Oleum gold. It doesn't say gold on there. It just says bright reflective finish, but it's the perfect matching color. So all I had to do was spray it. I did two coats of the spray and then I came back about an hour later, sprayed the lacquer to seal it and they match perfectly. Then I needed to drill the holes for the new hardware and I'm definitely gonna get one of those templates. They have them on Amazon. It would just make my life so much easier. I've been sort of just measuring with my measuring tape or eyeballing and I, I need to get one of those. There's templates where you can actually hook it up to the drawer front and it'll give you an accurate measurement. And my last step is to use Big Mama's Butter Dixie Bell's Big Mama's Butter and I use the La Petite brush and I am just gonna apply to all the drawers. It gives it a, just a beautiful scent because these drawers, they're, they are kind of old and they smell just a little bit and I wanna seal them. So I apply the Big Mama's Butter. I actually left it for about 20 minutes and then I took my rag and I wiped off all the excess butter. You can also take your rag another 12 hours later and just buff it and it'll really give that nice protective shell. The only thing about the butter is use it on a piece that's not like, you know, disgusting. This one's in pretty good shape. The smell isn't so bad. It just smells like wood, you know, and so it does need to be reapplied when the scent goes away. I would say even every three months. So you would not want to use this on a piece that's really stinky. You would want to use shellac, but for this piece, it's perfect. And I'm also going to use it on the drawer slide so that they go in and out much easier. These drawers are in really actually good condition. It's that line, that white line right there, that's the paint or whatever they used from the original finish. So there's really no reason for me to try to get that out with my mouse sander. I'll just make a big mess. And here is the before. And here it is after. I love the colors together. I love that Hampton Olive so much. When you look at it in the jar, it doesn't look great, but when it's on a piece of furniture, it just looks so sophisticated and nice. And the finish is so smooth. 
I didn't have to prime it or seal it. it. It is just the perfect finish for this look. And I love the natural wood grain coming through. I'm just super happy with how it turned out. I'd like to mention that there's a few ways to show your support for Flip It Furniture. You can easily hit the like and subscribe button. It costs nothing to you and it helps my channel grow. Or you can buy me a coffee. Buy me a coffee is a great way to show your support for creators on YouTube. The link is in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.